He makes a lot of jokes. He's kind of laid back, but he likes to goof around a little bit, kind of, kind of keep all the guys at ease. So, yeah, I think that's a little bit of Coach Longo's personality. I would say, this guy that comes in and jumps during the slide. Oh, me and Scott, uh, I think we complement each other really well. I feel like Scott does some things that I don't do as well. I feel like I might do some things a little bit better than he does, but I feel like just competing with him every day it makes each one of us better. So, it's something I look forward to. I know it's something Scott looks forward to, so I feel like it's going to make us a lot better at, in, uh, in the end. Yeah, Cincinnati was actually my first offer. I was a, I just announced my sophomore year of high school, so that was my first offer. It was actually from a uh, coach Brown. Coach Brown offered me that same. I read, I read a story about it. Was your mom there when you got offered? There was a story about you going in sands and hugging her or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was actually a crazy story because, honestly, at the camp I was out, I feel like I didn't even do that well. Then after the camp, Coach Brown pulled me aside. Guy, so I literally broke down crying right there. I started crying on Coach Brown, like Coach Brown's probably like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so yeah, I was crying on Coach Brown, so I ran up to the stands, found my mom, like, crying on her arm. So yeah, that was, that was really special. Where was the camp? Uh, that was in uh, North Central College in okay. uh, Illinois. Okay. Yep. But the slide receiver thing, what do you like about being a slide receiver, and what was what must a player have with them? I would say it's a good Okay. Uh, first thing I think you need to have to play slide receiver is you got to have a good amount of quickness, a good amount of twitch. But then uh, a lot of I feel is also just IQ, knowing defense and knowing where people are at. But then the slide, you're not just lined up outside against just one corner with maybe a safety over top. In the slide, you're going to have to work around linebackers, find uh, tighter windows, things like that. I feel like a slide receiver is just takes just a little bit more, I want to say a little bit more knowledge, just I feel like you gotta understand things a little bit more and uh, just understand spots on the field, different zones like that. You looked at like the numbers of slot receivers you put up in Longo's offenses, like Josh Downs last year, a couple years before that. You seen that at all? Yeah, uh, Coach Longo, he's talked to me. I feel like when I was gonna recruit to Coach Longo, I talked about the guys he's had before in the slot and uh, what he likes to do with them. So that was definitely intriguing about coming to play for Coach Longo or in his office, I should say. So uh, yeah, so, uh, seeing stuff like Josh Downs getting drafted, uh, Dad knew some guys playing the slot coach line, it's really uh, exciting. What have been your impressions of Bryson Green, especially now that he's been able to get on the field and go out there and compete right. with you guys? Bryson is really fun to watch. He's super big, super athletic, he can go up and grab the football. It's kind of crazy because even like in the spring when he wasn't doing like full team drills, seven on seven drills, you could see like the the flashes of how athletic he really was and like the, the things he could do. So seeing him out here now on the field, full pass, full go, it's it's exciting. He's gonna be really good for us. I feel like. Do you know anything about the, the history of Wisconsin wide receivers at all? Who has or hasn't gone to the league? And, or did that even you know? Did you not really research it just because of you know who was coming in terms of the offensive coordinator? Right, okay. So I feel like I didn't know too much about the, uh, the history of Wisconsin football, but I kind of knew just a little bit. Like, I know a few receivers are coming in. I used to watch Russell Westbrook, but that was like my favorite college quarterback. So I watched him throw the ball, like Nick Chen, Jared Abadaris, those guys. And then uh, Kendrick Pryor, he actually went to the same high school as me. So I watched Kendrick a little bit playing here. But uh, from a tradition and culture standpoint, I really didn't know like, too much about the program. But every day, Coach Fix on us about it, or players that are here tell me about it. Coach decided. So I'm, I'm excited for a uh, first home game. It's fun.